Good morning, YouTube. Another workout in the morning. It is 5.56 right now in the morning. I'm working out by myself so I could come about 15 minutes later than normal. We got push day B of this uh, program that I am doing. Again, guys, I did pull, push, legs. Now I'm back again to pull, push, legs. Three different workouts, though. The seventh day is going to be some cardio and active rest day. But that is the program I'm on right now, so I thought I was going to take you guys through it. So we are on the push day B today. Getting ready to go in there and kill it. I am working out by myself today, but that means I can get it done a little bit quicker than normal. So I could come in this morning not as early as I usually do. But just listen to music, guys. Getting the mind right. I know it's early, but you can't let that affect your workout. Got to get in here, get the energy going, and just overall have a good workout again talked about this in the last video stop making up excuses get in get it done and then go on with the rest of your day so that's what i'm about to go do right now stay tuned for these uh workout videos and clips right here and these exercises and i will talk to you guys after successful workout this morning then I had school till about 1 15 and then I had work from 2 30 and I did not get off work until about 8 45 so overall it was a pretty long day today uh, but it was a good day I do again I've said this before I like to stay busy um, but afterwards I went over to Palm Beach tan I'm going there to get uh, spray tans for the next you know 20 or so odd days until my show just to kind of get a base color before I get my spray tan um, so I went over there afterwards luckily the people that were working there were nice enough to let me come in a few minutes after their hours and get my uh, get in the tanning bed and it felt so good I was so exhausted and actually kind of fell asleep so um, overall today has been pretty successful guys uh, just long and so I'm pretty tired 
Uh, but one thing I wanted to talk about real quick was kind of what's going on. So tomorrow marks three weeks until my show day. And so these last, you know, four or five weeks, six weeks actually of my prep, I've been going really hard. The last week has been really, really strict. And then starting tomorrow, it's going to be even more strict. Um, and I think I'm going to drop down some more on my carbs. I'm going to talk to Coach Pierce about that, get his opinion on what he thinks. But if I can drop down on those carbs, I think that'll help me lose some more body fat for sure. Uh, my fat per- or my the amount of fat I'm intaking every day is not that much right now, so I don't think I need to drop any more of that. It's only about 44 grams a day on average, uh, but my carbs is about 130, 140 in that area, so I might drop it to like 115, you know, maybe 100. So I'm gonna talk to Coach Pierce about that, but to kind of um, just I've been pushing myself pretty hard with this, and I just felt the need. I kind of like wanted to reward myself in a way. Uh, something that wouldn't kill me, but something that would be a pleasure to me. So, what I did was I made up four of those small whole grain waffles that I got in a few videos ago before I started really staying strict to my diet. Threw some syrup on top. I'm also going to have some Halo Top tonight. Just, again, guys, to reward myself. Um, I am proud of myself for what I've been doing, staying, uh, hold myself accountable, and just staying disciplined. Uh, when people have gone out to eat, not eating the things that they're having, and just staying strict. So, just thought I would reward myself. And some of you guys may be like, wow, like he's not strong enough. Like, he just wanted to eat that. But, I mean, yeah, I freaking want to eat this. There's so much stuff I want to eat right now, but I'm not because I have a goal I'm trying to reach. And I'm going to get myself there. But I just kind of wanted to reward myself. So, if you guys are doing something similar, reward yourself. One meal is not going to kill you. So, uh, I'm going to enjoy this, though. And, again, I'm going to have some Halo Top in a little bit. Then I gotta get up again tomorrow morning at like six because I have to be work at six thirty. So hope you guys have enjoyed this video so far and the workout this morning. Now we'll talk to you guys tomorrow. So it's about six, like twelve right now. Um, I'm getting ready to head over to work. I only have to work till about ten thirty, so it shouldn't be too bad. But I'm not gonna eat this morning. I'm gonna kind of fast. Um, but pretty tired, but fine. Uh, I don't really know what much to more to say. I'm just making up coffee right now. Hopefully, me making this coffee will kind of tie me over until uh, I get done with work in about four hours. So, I'm going to have some fun. We'll talk to you guys in a little bit. So, I'm back home. Work was fine. Uh, again, I worked for four hours. I didn't eat the entire time. I just had a cup of coffee this morning on the way in. And uh, so now I'm able to eat, which I'm excited about because I'm pretty hungry. It's uh, 10.35 right now. Uh, the last time I ate was last night around 9.45. So um, I'm having egg whites and oatmeal. This is three-fourths a cup of oats with uh, about a cup of almond milk and then this is three different servings of egg whites and a serving of egg whites is three-fourths of a cup so just over two cups of egg whites in here to make the macros for this 502 calories 42 carb 7 fat and 58 protein my breakfast meal is actually the meal that I get most of my carbs from which I don't mind at all um, and for me, honestly, this is a really plain meal, not a lot of flavor. And I normally would not just eat this as an everyday breakfast. For my egg whites, as you guys have seen in the past, I'll throw ham, I'll throw turkey sausage, cheese in there. And then for my oatmeal, I usually just have the maple brown sugar, but I'm having to go straight, just plain oats for this. Um, and it's easy for me to eat, though, just because I know it's going to be what helps out a lot in the long run. And it's taking some sugars away, too, so... That's my meal, and this is my meal actually that I have every single day except for Wednesdays and Fridays. So I'm gonna enjoy this, and I'm probably gonna go to sleep for a little bit because I'm pretty exhausted. So I didn't end up getting to sleep. Uh, I'm actually going to get a haircut right now, and I actually just arrived. So I'm just gonna get, uh, I think I'm gonna do one, two, three this time. Normally I do two, three, four, but I'm gonna go one, two, three, and then get a little bit taken off the top, get my eyebrows done, and just get all fixed up. So you guys will see that in three, Two, one. And haircut is done. It looks pretty good, y'all. Again, one, two, three. 
got some taken off the top I love it uh, but I'm at the gym now about to hit some legs with Alden but beforehand I gotta get a walk going on the treadmill to get my knee warmed up because I cannot go straight into squats without my leg being a little warmed up so I'm gonna do that and I hope you guys enjoy this workout talk to you after or that was actually cod and then eight ounces of sweet potato that was my third meal of the day and I'm jumping into my fourth meal right now it's about 5 30 uh, what I'm gonna be having is just we're gonna have six ounces of grilled chicken and about five ounces of broccoli so what I gotta do first uh, I heated up the chicken went ahead and heat up the chicken and then I'm gonna cut some more of it up I heat it up a little bit not all the way because uh, if I, it's not if for me if it's not cut up it's not gonna really warm up the inside of the chicken just more the outside so I heat it up a little bit get the outside more warm so it's easier to cut and I'm gonna finish cutting it put it on the plate heat it up even longer um, and this is gonna be again guys my fourth meal of the day total right now I'm having five meals with a protein shake at the end um, and what I'm able to do is my protein shakes I'll show you guys later I actually put it in the last video all the stuff that I put in my protein shake, but what I do is I add ice at the end to make it more thick. It's almost like drinking a milkshake, so I'm trying to trick myself <laughs> into thinking I'm just drinking a milkshake from, I don't know, a fast food restaurant or something. But overall, I can make my shakes have a lot of good flavor in them and seem sweet when there's actually not a, really any sugar in them at all. But right now, I'm about to make up this meal because I am starving. <laughs>
Now that the chicken's all cut up, I'm gonna measure out six total ounces of chicken right now to put on my plate. You don't have to be like exact, exact, 0.1 or 0.2 ounce, no big deal. I try to do stay in between 5.8 and uh, 6.2 ounces. Now I'm gonna throw it on the plate, and now I gotta measure out the broccoli. Now that I have that heating up, I just gotta wait till it's finished up. Um, but I'm gonna destroy this meal. So I got my meal right here. I'm gonna get ready to eat this. Also have my aminos. I have these ghost fruit punch aminos that I actually really like. Uh, I tried those out today for the first time. One of the guys at the gym that I've become friends with gave them to me, but he, I'm gonna pay him about 10 bucks for them. Um, but get ready to eat this. Uh, so for the macros for this, again, six ounces of grilled chicken and five ounces of steamed rice and then 30 grams of that bottled poppy seed dressing comes out to be 10 carbs total, four fat, 38 protein. So solid meal right here. I'm, again, guys, so hungry. So I'm gonna enjoy this, probably watch our YouTube video or something and uh, talk to you guys after that.